Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make some Christmas pretzels and for that I made me a dough colored clay that I am using. I rolled it out in a uh, big chunky snake and I'm just cutting off equal sizes pieces here and cutting them into smaller pieces. Then I'm first rolling it into a ball and rolling it long. I want it to be around four centimeters long in total. And I'm using my uh, mat here underneath my glass plate to make sure that it has the right length. And then I am first bending one side over and then the other side over. And there is a little pretzel. And I'm going to do that again to show you one more time. Make as many of these pretzels as you want and then I am using a toothbrush to give them all some texture and I'm just taking my time making sure I am going all over these with this little toothbrush. I am using my soft pastels here to give them a bit of color. So first I am using this very, very light, light, almost a yellowish brown color. Then I am using this uh, a bit darker brown with no yellow in there. And then at last I am going to take uh, some of this um, quite nice dark brown, red brown, uh, color here and dusting it all over the pressed pretzels and that's actually a lie I am using my finger in the end just in the total dark brown here and dipping that uh, carefully onto the pretzels I just want a tiny bit of that on there While they are baking, I am taking three pieces of a red sewing thread and I'm just braiding that together into a long um, braid that I can use to hang the pretzels when they're all done. I divided my braids into pieces that is around 7 centimeters long and I am um, making a knot here at the top of the uh, little string. I'm putting the strings together into a little loop and then making a tiny knot at the end so I have this little loop for the pretzel. Then I am threading the loop here through the pretzel like this and then I am taking the thread through the loop and there I have a pretzel ready to hang in a window or on the Christmas tree or something and I'm just going to show you one more time. That is all for the video today. This was a very little and easy tutorial. So I hope you all can do this and enjoy it. So that was it for today. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow and happy crafting.